let's compare what is survey spectra and what is high resolution spectra in XPS analysis. If we want to know 100% information about the sample, we have to run both spectra. The survey spectra give us the information about what type of elements are present. If the elements are unknown, we have to run survey spectra. Now, high resolution spectra give us the information about the chemical state. Chemical state basically means what is the oxidation states, what is the surrounding, what is in the environment. So all these kind of informations we get from high resolution spectra. Both spectra are very, very important and we have to run both for a complete analysis. This is how a survey spectra looks like and this is how a high resolution spectra looks like. In survey spectra, we consider all peaks like the photoelectron peaks, the OJ peaks, and there are also some satellite peaks, ghost peaks, some lost peaks. While in high resolution spectra, we only consider the most important photoelectron peaks or OJ peaks. In this case, I just uh, took this uh, 4F uh, peaks here. And we can simply see that in this 4F peak, we cannot see here the, 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 the doublet here. But when we take the high resolution spectra, so this doublets become visible and we can see two separate peaks. Now the survey spectra is also called broad scan or broad overview while high resolution is called in-depth overview. The purpose of survey spectra is basically elemental identification. Simply means that when the elements are unknown, so we have to run survey spectra. And this is we also called qualitative analysis because we are only looking for samples that whether iron is exist, whether oxygen, whether carbon, etc. We are not interested in the quantity, right? While high resolution, we talk about the chemical states. This is, this is I explained, like the oxidation state, environment, surrounding, how they bonding with other elements, etc. And this is basically quantitative because we, we see that when we, when we resolve the peaks, so the peaks like look like two here. You see, now we can clearly see that this is uh, this peak contain more number of atoms and this contain less number of atoms. So quantitatively, now we are clear about this. Uh, we, we, we have seen the energy ranges from 0 to 1400 and here we just specify, yeah, uh, you see here, uh, we, we seen that the range was from 25 to uh, 2045. So this means that we just zoom that particular area that what is happening in this uh, for a small range or narrow area. The resolution is lower here so we cannot differentiate and here the resolution is very higher so then we can see this separation the peak separation here this is basically called this delta here this delta is basically this spin orbit separation the at the time is longer we have to we have to see the minor detail and here the acquisition time is shorter because we are only looking for elements right uh, we get uh, the data in the form of elements here and here we get the data in the form of chemical states the concentration of the elements here i explained that in the higher peak the concentration is higher in the list, the concentration of that element is less. This last one is very important in survey spectra because survey spectra we have a lot of peaks. Convolution basically this peak is from convolution and when we want to uh, separate this peak uh, that is basically called deconvolution. So deconvolution on the survey spectrum is not a good idea. You see here while here in high resolution spectra we see that we just see this doubling here. So we, 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 we this was this was a convoluted peak here and this now we deconvoluted here because uh, we can now see that these are basically two different peaks here if it is from p this is we call uh, it is from 2p so this is we call three half and this is uh, one half here it is from d so we, we, we have five by two here and this is three by two here if it is the from f so we have seven by five here f and here is f five by two here Right? So this is uh, how deconvolution is fine on a high resolution spectrum.